Ooh, is this new stuff? It's a character adventure guide. What? Scouting area showing local completion for. Oh. Oh. Wait. What is this? Oh. That's new, right? That's new. Guild Wars 2 10th Anniversary. Celebrate Guild Wars 2 10th Anniversary. Complete new achievements and earn the Decade Armor Set. Read on the anniversary event and rewards on the website. Enjoy an anniversary boost for four days. Visit an ancient armorsmith in any capital city. Okay. That's pretty cool. I got a story to get to, though. I got a story. Has this always collapsed like this? Or is that new? I've never really clicked up here. <laughs> I'm a year into this game, and I still have new things to learn at every turn. Oh, I wish I could climb those ladders. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, what are we doing? Find Steeg, Steeg, Steg, Steak. Find Steak Frostbeard and, re and retrieve the Sanguinary Blade. Okay, so where are we headed? Down here? Down here, where I have not been. So we're gonna... We're just gonna travel from here, then. We got some traveling to do. I, uh... I'm excited to get back into this. It's been... It's been a, f a good few days. I was... I, I, I had a hankering for just some relaxing Guild Wars 2 the other day, and I booted up my, uh... I booted up my warrior that I used to get to, uh, I put it up my warrior that I used to get to, get to, get my raptor. That's right, Hank, you, you, right there. Hi, buddy. Uh, and started, like, doing, like, like, entry-level area stuff, you know, hearts and whatnot. I mean, it was just so fun. Hey, and I'm excited. I've got, I've got the, uh, the loot drops on Twitch set up now. Um, I don't know how that works. Do I have to be streaming... Guild Wars 2 for that to work? I don't think that's the case. But, I may very well stream Guild Wars 2 more. Uh, I, I, I keep saying that. The problem is, I want to play too many games, and I go in cycles of what I want to play or stream. So, you get, you know what you're getting with me. You know exactly what you're getting with me. This is a fun game to stream, though. And just either accomplish things or not accomplish things. And I've been kind of in a mood to not accomplish things. You know, and by not accomplish things, I mean like nothing big. No, oh, gotta level up. <laughs> nothing big, nothing like story related, nothing, uh, nothing, uh, like, like hearts. Just going around doing hearts and like dynamic events. No, no raids. Stuff like that. Dungeons, those sorts of things. Okay, let's follow the road. I think the road will take me there. It's fun to play and just stop and listen to the birds. Oh, jeez. Hey, hey. Let's listen to the birds, you jerk. Oh, you did a little wolf call for a friend, did you? Oh, we got a got a vista. Might as well go do this. Oh, and I want to look at um. Uh, I want to look at my uh. We may not we may not actually accomplish anything today. Uh, just a heads up. Okay, why am I trying this with Hank? I don't need Hank for this. I need Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Uh, I need to go look at my, uh, my skills. Or whatever's. Come on! Oh, come on, Jerry! Oh, you were so close, Jerry. Oh, you were so very close. There we go. Oh, so pretty. Also exciting that Guild Wars 2 is out on Steam, finally. That's great. I'm not running it through Steam yet. I haven't, like, launched it. 
I did put it in my library. I don't know if I installed it there yet. Like, I kind of feel like I just kind of want it there. I don't know that I necessarily want to run it through Steam, although I do like to run games through Steam to track hours played, but the game tracks my hours played, so I don't, I don't need to do that. Um, but Indigo recommended that I probably do Dominion since I'm liking the, or Dominion, Domination, what's it called? Uh, since I like the Greatsword so much. Whoops. Which is probably a good idea. So we're gonna we're gonna look at that. We'll probably travel just here a bit, get to our final destination, and maybe we'll look at. Uh... Wait, where is where? Is... Okay, that is not. I don't think that's where I wanted to go. Stop. Okay, maybe I should have stayed on the road. <laughs> oh wait, I was on the road, and then I got distracted by the vista. Not my fault. You know what I realized? I, I, I realized something thinking about Guild Wars 2 uh, the other day. This, well, Kirim had asked me, you know, if I was going to do anything to specifically target, like, uh, the, the new Steam players, which, I don't know, I'd considered it, you know, making one of those videos, which would be fine, but they're a dime a dozen at this point. Everybody's doing that. I'm not, I'm not that interested in it. Not in the game, but in, like, taking the time to make one of those videos, write a script out and stuff. That's just not my jam. But it did get me thinking, like, because I was watching somebody play WoW the other day, and I thought, you know, there's one big difference in WoW. I don't want to quite go there yet. I'm going to go get this uh, waypoint. Um... There's one big difference between WoW and Guild Wars 2 in the way I play it that I realized. And that is in World of Warcraft, so much of my gameplay and progression was built around getting new and better equipment. Now, in Guild Wars 2, there is fashion wars. Obviously, that's a thing. But in Guild Wars 2, it is not... It's not... Oh, there's a... This stuff there. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Here you go. Watch this. Pew! <laughs> Get your jump on. Get your jump on, buddy. Oh, you, we can't go that way. <laughs> that's funny. Um. Oh, that's right. That's right. We got to go down. That's right. I remember this one. I remember this one. Did we go down there? I don't remember going down that far. I think we go right here. Yeah, you hug that. There we go. There we go. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, but like, I play this game and I don't feel the need. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I don't, I don't rely on the drive to get bigger and better and stronger equipment. In fact, I remember the way I played through Kyle Blaine and the, the whole, his whole storyline, the way I did that was really fascinating to me because I ended up just like every 10 or so 20 or so levels I would just buy new equipment in the in the trading hall right and like that was different for me whereas in World of Warcraft I was constantly like oh I gotta get better shoulders oh these greaves are just not good enough anymore I felt that drive for newer and better equipment. I don't feel that here. And part of it, I believe, transition time, is because of the vast, the vast skill system, right? The specializations and things like that. I think that helps it because hero points drive me more than, than new weapons and new armor and stuff. So let's look through this. As we, as we look out upon creation. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Right there. Right there. As we block it with the window. Okay, let's take a look at these real quick. Um, right. Illusion of vulnerability. Inflict vulnerability when you interrupt a foe. So someone explained to me that interrupts are a mechanic in the game, but at this point in my training and ability 
and how I, and, and how I'm playing and what I'm playing. They're just going to happen on accident. Totally cool. Totally cool. So inflict vulnerability when you interrupt a foe. This trait can only affect enemies with defiance bars once per interval. Okay. Uh, Bountiful Blades improves greatsword skills. Mirror Blade bounces additional times, and Phantasmal Breaker summons an additional Berserker and deals less damage. Ah, okay. Okay, so Mirror Blade... Where's Mirror... Okay, Mirror Blade bounces between an additional enemy... Then bounces to enemies and out. Okay. And then Phantasmal Berserker. Throw an illusionary greatsword at your foe. Removing boons from struck enemies creates a phantasm that whirls through targets. So this makes it deal less damage, but it spawns an additional Berserker. Good balancing there. Uh, this trait is uh, oh, uh, empowered illusions. Illusions deal increased strike damage. I like that. Uh, rendering Shatter. Shatter skills inflict a vulnerability on hit. I like that. Dazzling. Uh, dazing or stunning a foe also applies vulnerability. And what I'll probably do here is I'll, I'll unlock these and then play with it for a bit. And then I'll take a look at like what would be some better skills down here to use. Dazing or stunning a foe. Also, oh, got that one. Uh, shatter skills also remove a boon on hit. That's cool. Uh, egotism. Deal increased strike damage to foes with a lower health percentage than you. Ah, okay. Uh, furious interruption. Gain quickness when you interrupt a foe. Fragility. Deal increased strike damage for each stack of vulnerability on your target. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, you and your illusions deal increased strike damage to foes without boons. Disabling a foe uh, removes boons from them. Uh, shatter skills deal deal more damage. This bonus damage is doubled against foes that are not activating skills. Okay, let me read that again. Mental anguish. Shatter skills skills deal more damage. This bonus damage is doubled against foes that are not activating skills. Oh, so if they're just like doing their normal attacks, right? If they're not trying to cast something or do a special attack, they get double damage bonus damage nice and then power block which this one i can't quite get to yet we would need three more hero points maybe that's what we need to go do we need to go find some hero points yeah uh right so what does this one do power block interrupt deals interrupts deal damage and inflict weakness enemy skills that you interrupt have an increased cooldown. Oh, that's cool. All right, I like this. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's train all the way up there. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes, we're gonna go. We're gonna go there. We're gonna click there. We're gonna do this thing. We're gonna do. Uh. Mm, uh. Where? Mm, what? What? Oh, here. Uh. <laughs> domination. Great. So illusion of vulnerability. Uh, so this is inflict vulnerability when you interrupt a foe. Okay, so now let's choose one here. Improved great sword skills. I do like that one. Illusions deal increased strike damage. I like that one too. And then shatter skills inflict vulnerability on hit. Let's go. There was one over here that was like, oh, well, I guess I don't have to have this one unless I want to use it. Uh, deal increased strike damage for each stack of vulnerability on your target. You know what? Why not? Let's, well, no, let's, let's go with something basic for this, for this time around. Let's go for something basic. Uh, I kind of want my, I kind of want my illusions to deal 15% more damage. Let's do that. Shatter skills also remove a boon. Deal increased strike damage to foes with a lower health percentage than you. I like that. Gain quickness. Yeah, let's go with that one, the egotism. And then here. Shatter skills deal more damage. This bonus damage doubles foes that are not activating skill. Let's go with that one. Okay, straight across the middle. Let's go for that. Let's not worry about the hero point, right? Let's not worry about that. Let's go do some fighting. Let's just go see how things are like if i just like it let's just say i just run up to this guy and just start doing some auto attacks oh 
what? I'm, why? I'm, I like I, I my brain was like great sword. Go right up to her, Kyle. I just like to get a baseline feel, right? I don't know who that other delusion was attacking. Who? Oh, the ram. Okay, I definitely feel like I felt the increased illusion damage. Why y'all keep bothering the rams? All right, well, let's look. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, th that was pretty, that wasn't, that wasn't, uh, the skills I chose weren't, like, mind-blowingly difficult to understand. So let's go through as well. Let's keep this up so we can remember what we're doing here. Uh, and let's get off Hank. There we go. And let's, let's take a look at these and remind myself what I have here. Because I could also go, uh, what am I looking for? Here. I could also go up here and train in more skills. I still have lots of these to unlock as well. I could do one or two more if I wanted to. So this is heal yourself, gain additional health for each active clone. I like that. I like having my clones out. I do like the shatter skills, but I like keeping clones out as well. Uh, boy, can I get up, get back up to the clones really fast. Uh, so what's my other option here? My other option here is heal yourself whenever you summon an illusion. You know, that's a pretty good passive. Especially if I'm, if, oh, oh, if I utilize the shatter skills more, that'll bring up more illusions. Oh. Okay, the active healing is better on this one than this one. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. The, the, okay, the active healing on them are basically the same, except this one is plus 160 per clone. No, I think I like the signet here. Can I see what the other ones are? I can. Uh, reflect projectiles and heal, heal yourself. Uh, chant the mantra of recovery, instantly healing yourself, receiving increased healing if you are below the health threshold. No, I like this signet. I don't know why I haven't been using that. Whoops. I just completely... I was trying to lean my arm on my cup on my table, on my desk. That did not end well. Uh, heal yourself and reduce. Oh, heal yourself and reduce recharge of phantasm skills. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Uh, although I just, I just love the idea that I'm healing 110 every time I spawn an illusion. And then... If I need to, I can get a boost that's essentially the same as this, save for potentially, you know, uh, 400 ish. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, let's keep that. All right. So, what are we doing here? We got more options here. Right now, we're doing creates. Okay. Creates a clone every few seconds. I like that. Uh, and then it'll recharge shatter skills on activate. I keep forgetting that that's what that does. Uh, improves expertise, blinds nearby foes, and stealth yourself. No. Improved condition damage, stun your foe. No. Grants swiftness swiftness, and an additional random boon every 10 seconds. That one's kind of cool. Extends the duration of all boons on yourself. That, that's kind of cool to just get a random boon every now and then, but me. Uh, decoy is what I have there. Mirror image, summon two clones to attack your foe. So that one is really handy, but I feel like... Um, yeah, this creates a clone. Yeah, this creates a clone. This creates a clone. Okay, so I've got two skills over here that create a clone. This, not that, this creates a clone. This creates a clone. Because the phantasms become clones. I, yes, yeah, if I remember, I remember that correctly. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> so I, I think I'm happy with that. I'm actually really happy with the setup. Because, yeah, what I have been doing is I'm using E and R. E and R are my, oh, crap, I got to get out of here. 
Because I, so I create a clone. Or I, or should, oh, should I flip those? Gain stealth and summon an illusion to attack your foe. Summon an illusion that taunts your target and all nearby targets while blocking. When it finishes blocking, the illusion explodes. You know what? I'm going to swap those. Because I was doing ER, but I should be stealthing last. Right? So when I get in a bind, that's what I do is I do ER. Q then. Q then I'm, I press if I want to reuse a shatter skill. Otherwise, there is always a shatter skill ready to be used. And I need to do a better job at rereading these and studying these to remember what they do. Uh, we'll do that another time. I'll do that another time. I'll do that off camera. Uh, and then this one heals myself as I make illusions. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. You good? You good? Okay, y'all good. I want to watch my healing. <laughs> Dumb pirate. I'm the one attacking you. All right, guys, let's not attack the rams this time, please. What did they ever do to you? Well, that was fast. Oh, wait, that doesn't create a clone. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that just creates a clone every few seconds. Hello? Oh, I was too far away. I was about to say. Back in fighting condition. All right, I kind of want to take a little bit of damage. Hey, come here. Attack me. Attack me. Okay, now let's create a clone. Nice. Okay. Kill them all. Okay, cool. I just wanted to get a feel and like watch my health go up and make sure like it does work the way I work. You know what I mean? Like when you're when you're dumb and new at the game, like reading it and then experiencing the skill are like helpful, helpful different things to do. There are words that I want to say. I've just got Kyle bling. I've got bling brain. Bling brain. I like that phrase. We're going to use that. So thank you all for watching. We're going to continue the story next time. Thank you for joining me as I discovered and educated myself on the domination track. And I'm excited to dive into it. I'm excited to unlock that last one and we'll be done with it. And then we'll be ready to move on to other ones. So we'll see you guys next time. Adios. Goodbye. Huh.